Hello, dear friends. A warm welcome to Self-Growth Discovery. We're thrilled to have you here as we delve into insightful and transformative content that can help reshape your life and enhance your current circumstances. Our mission is to offer you guidance and clarity to propel you towards a better and more fulfilling present. If you're interested in receiving tailored messages that resonate with your specific situation, please don't forget to like this video. Additionally, ensure that you're subscribed to our channel as we're working hard to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers, and your support is invaluable in helping us achieve this milestone. Without further ado, let's dive into today's reading. The first card we've drawn is the 11th card, but it's appearing in reverse. Normally, this card is associated with the manifestation of desires and the achievement of your wishes. It's a card that typically brings positive vibes of success and fulfillment. However, when reversed, it conveys a different message. It suggests that you might be encountering some recent disappointments, particularly in the areas of love or other significant aspects of your life. It indicates a sense of frustration where things seem to be dragging or facing constant delays. It feels as though you've been clinging to something, trying to make it work, but instead of seeing progress, you're met with ongoing setbacks and unfulfilled expectations. This card in reverse reflects a period of struggle and disappointment where despite your best efforts, things haven't turned out as you had hoped. Now let's take a deeper look at what this might mean for you and how you can navigate through this challenging phase. The strategy card in reverse has appeared and it's highlighting a period where your plans might be facing significant challenges. You might have had a clear, detailed strategy for how you wanted things to unfold, whether that's in your personal life, your relationships, or your professional endeavors. However, it seems that these plans are not progressing as smoothly as you hoped. Instead, there are disruptions and complications causing things to veer off course. It feels like there's been an interference or a major hiccup that's affecting the outcome you were aiming for. Additionally, the woman holding a coin in reverse can point to a karmic feminine energy that's causing disruption within a soul connection. This could mean that someone with a karmic influence is negatively impacting your relationship or connection. This card suggests that there might be unresolved issues or external factors at play that are affecting the harmony and progress of this relationship. It's essential to focus on what resonates with you personally as I channel various energies and connections. So only take what aligns with your own experiences and intuition. I'm sensing that I might be tuning into a significant relationship, possibly involving a soulmate or twin flame, where things have become notably stagnant or disheartening. There appears to be a heavy burden of past regrets and ongoing disappointments, especially in the realm of love or a specific romantic relationship. It seems that someone has been holding on for a long time, trying to make things work, despite numerous setbacks. External influences, especially those tied to karmic energies, could be playing a role in this stagnation and frustration. I want to start by acknowledging that I'm currently experiencing some throat chakra activation, which might cause my voice to crack or sound a bit off. I apologize for any distraction this might cause and appreciate your understanding, especially from those of you who have shared similar experiences in the comments. Despite this, it seems that today's message is particularly relevant for someone dealing with long-standing disappointment in a love connection. This situation might be influenced by external factors or karmic energies that have created complications in your relationship. You may have felt deeply hurt or betrayed, especially if an outside third party became involved in a way that disrupted your connection. The appearance of the sixth chakra, also known as the third eye chakra, in its upright position, indicates that a painful truth is surfacing. While this revelation might seem difficult to confront, your guides are bringing it to light, not to dwell in negativity, but to offer you hope and encouragement. This painful truth could have left you feeling trapped, as suggested by the All Tied Up card. You might have felt as though you were stuck between staying and leaving, unsure of the best course of action. Ultimately, this realization might have led to a necessary decision to walk away, 
represented by the walking away card. This could mean that you had to let go of something you deeply valued in order to move towards what you truly deserve. Recognizing that this situation is challenging is important, particularly because there was once something incredibly special and beautiful about your connection. The Angel of Balance card appearing in a midway position suggests that there was a significant imbalance within the relationship. This could indicate that the connection struggled to establish itself in a grounded and stable way. For some, this imbalance may have been exacerbated by the relationship being long distance or primarily conducted through online communication, making it difficult to translate into real-life stability. If betrayal or outside interference weren't the issues at hand, it's possible that the circumstances themselves contributed to a persistent cycle of disappointment and imbalance in your relationship. Your guides want to acknowledge the pain and difficulty you've experienced throughout this journey. They want you to understand that the realizations you've had and the actions you've taken are part of a larger plan to help you move toward what you truly deserve. Even though this path has been challenging and fraught with setbacks, it's leading you towards something better. There may have been a significant moment of clarity where you realized that you needed to walk away or make a significant change. The community card, appearing upright, symbolizes this critical realization. It suggests that you recognize the necessity of reconnecting with the world around you, grounding yourself, and reestablishing connections with both yourself and your community. Despite the deep and special nature of this relationship, which may have had a divine or ethereal quality, it was also lacking in practical grounding. During the good times, you might have felt on top of the world, almost as if you were living in a higher dimension where it was just the two of you. However, when the relationship became unbalanced or painful truths emerged, it led to a cycle of stagnant energy and ongoing disappointment. This imbalance made it clear that you had to make the difficult decision to walk away. Doing so was essential for you to fully engage with your life and reconnect with yourself and those around you. Your guides want to acknowledge the difficulty of this decision and the importance of grounding yourself in your physical reality. Through this process, you are rediscovering your own strength and the value of meaningful connections in your life. I'm getting the sense that both of you wanted this to work, but circumstances or external influences caused a sense of betrayal or feeling unchosen. This feeling of not being chosen or even being betrayed intensified the emotional pain and made it harder to move on. However, with the all tied up card in the reverse position, there is a shift happening this stuck energy is beginning to dissipate. For some, this might have been a prolonged period, possibly around a year, where you felt trapped in this emotional limbo. It was a state where you couldn't fully move on, but also couldn't fully engage with life. Now, there is a movement away from this stuck energy. You are starting to break free from that emotional purgatory. The woman holding a coin, appearing upright, suggests that you are in a significant phase of reclaiming your personal power and recognizing your own value. This card indicates that you're beginning to understand your worth and are making strides toward moving forward with greater confidence. Your guides want to acknowledge the pain and difficulties you've experienced on this journey, but they also want to reassure you that this feeling of being stuck is coming to an end. You are on a path toward rediscovering your inner strength and transitioning into a more grounded and empowered state of being. If it seemed like they were acting half-heartedly or not fully committed, it's important to understand that this wasn't due to a lack of care or interest in you. Instead, their behavior was likely driven by fear. They might have been intimidated by the intensity of your connection 
anxious about the vulnerability it required or overwhelmed by the profound transformation it involved. Additionally, they may have been dealing with their own issues related to money or material security, which added to the complications between you. For instance, they could have been so focused on their career or financial stability that it created a rift between you two. Alternatively, their actions might have made you feel undervalued or disrespected. The term orbit beautifully illustrates the ongoing magnetic pull between you and this person, even after you've walked away. It's akin to planets orbiting around each other. There's a strong, almost gravitational connection that keeps drawing you back, despite any physical distance or separation. This creates a dynamic where both of you feel this powerful, lingering bond, yet struggle to align or harmonize in the practical aspects of life. Your guides recognize and validate the complexity and emotional pain you've endured throughout this journey. They want you to understand that it's completely natural to experience feelings of hurt and confusion. This challenging situation is designed to teach both of you important lessons about love, self-respect, and personal worth. As you navigate this period, it's crucial to focus on your own healing and empowerment. Trust that if this connection is meant to be a part of your life, it will return in a more balanced and positive form. In the interim, it's important to honor your emotions, take care of your well-being, and have faith in the process of personal growth and transformation. When faced with difficulties, such as betrayal or confusion, it can be profoundly painful. It's especially tough when you realize that the other person's actions were driven by fear rather than a lack of care. They might have been scared of the depth of the connection, the vulnerability it required, or the significant changes it would bring into their life. This fear can manifest in behavior that feels hurtful or confusing, adding to the overall complexity of the relationship. The reality is that while this person may have had deep, genuine feelings for you, their actions were often marked by confusion and defensiveness. This may have created a sense of dishonesty or deceit, leaving you feeling undervalued and disrespected. The decision to disconnect and move away was a necessary step for you to protect your self-respect and break free from the stagnant energy that was holding you back. This decision was not about negating the special nature of the relationship, but rather about recognizing that staying in a situation that wasn't genuinely supportive or fulfilling wasn't beneficial for you, despite the deep feelings and potential you saw in the connection it was important to acknowledge that the relationship in its current state was not meeting your needs or aligning with your true self. Choosing to walk away was a courageous step toward reclaiming your own worth and pursuing relationships that offer real, tangible support and mutual respect. It allowed you to honor your feelings and recognize that even though this connection was meaningful, it wasn't serving your highest good. This process of letting go is part of a broader journey toward self-discovery and finding connections that truly align with who you are and what you deserve. I understand that the term deceitful can carry a lot of heavy implications, and I don't intend to use it in a dark or overly negative way. What I'm suggesting is that this person may not have been completely open, honest, or truthful with you, potentially due to their own fears or because they were hiding certain aspects of their life that only became clear later on. This lack of transparency has likely caused you a significant amount of pain, especially considering the depth of the love and the beautiful soul connection you once shared. Unfortunately, their actions have somewhat tainted this connection in the physical world, as they did not fully respect the bond you had. The message I keep receiving from your guides is quite profound. They acknowledge that you still have a deep desire for this connection, 
even as you are making the difficult decision to walk away. It's a bit unconventional, but it seems your guides are suggesting that the only way to truly preserve the essence of this soul connection might be to step away and focus on choosing yourself. They imply that you need to let go of the plans and expectations you had for this relationship and this person and instead prioritize your own well-being and growth. Your guides are emphasizing that the key to breaking free from the cycle of stagnation and potential dishonesty or betrayal with this person is to focus on yourself. You need to prioritize your own well-being, follow your inner guidance, and fully support and advocate for yourself. This often involves making tough decisions, including stepping away from or detaching from this individual if necessary. It may sound paradoxical, but there's a possibility that, for some of you, reconnecting with this person could happen in the future. Even if this doesn't come to pass, your guides are suggesting that by fully committing to yourself and making choices that enhance your well-being, you'll open up new opportunities and potential connections down the line. By elevating yourself to a higher state and allowing this person the space to grow as well, you create the potential for future reconnection. This space acts as a catalyst, giving both of you the opportunity to become the best versions of yourselves. However, this should be viewed as a potential opportunity rather than something to be expected or desired in the immediate future. The message I'm receiving keeps pointing to options and opportunities. If you choose to follow your intuition and let go, prioritizing your own needs and growth, you may inspire this person to make positive changes on their own. It's important to note that any growth or improvement they make will need to come from within themselves rather than from any external influence you might provide. This individual has a tendency to be stubborn and exhibits a slow-moving, persistent energy. So any progress they make will be driven by their own internal motivation. In summary, your focus should be on your own growth and well-being. By doing so, you not only open yourself up to new opportunities, but also allow space for both you and this person to evolve. Whether or not this leads to a future reconnection, prioritizing yourself and trusting the process will ultimately benefit you and pave the way for healthier, more fulfilling relationships. I'm sensing that someone with an S name is significant in this situation. Your guides want to convey that you've put in a lot of effort trying to make this relationship work. You've waited patiently, stayed in a stagnant situation, and even tried to motivate this person from the outside. Despite all this, true change in this person can only come from their own internal drive and motivation. This is a crucial point emphasized by the Healer of the Ages card, which symbolizes the need for self-motivation and personal healing. For this person to genuinely transform and grow, they must find their own reasons to change and heal. This process requires them to have the space and time to do so on their own terms. By stepping back and giving them this space, you allow them to confront their own issues and take responsibility for their own growth. This might mean you need to distance yourself, walk away, and open yourself up to new opportunities and potential connections. As I shuffle the cards and channel more messages, the Adjacent Possibilities card comes up reversed, accompanied by the number 2020. This year might hold particular significance in relation to both the global context and your personal situation with this person. While this might not resonate with everyone, terms like France, MOVE, and Washington could be relevant. It's possible that someone involved in this situation has relocated, whether to be closer to someone or to visit them. The reversed adjacent possibilities card suggests that as you continue to distance yourself and prioritize your own needs, this person may come to realize that there are no other options for them but you. This realization often comes when they are faced with the absence of the very thing they took for granted. However, because this connection has become so stagnant 
and unbalanced, it's essential for you to fully commit to choosing yourself and establishing boundaries that protect your well-being. This act of self-prioritization is crucial for creating a healing space that allows both you and this person to gain clarity. By stepping back and setting boundaries, you're creating the conditions for both of you to grow and reflect independently. This separation might be challenging, but it's necessary for both parties to gain a clearer understanding of their needs and desires. In this space, you give both yourself and this person the opportunity to evolve. Whether or not this leads to a future reconnection is uncertain, but the focus should be on your own growth and the new opportunities that will arise from prioritizing yourself. The distance and boundaries you set are essential for fostering personal development and ultimately achieving a healthier and more balanced dynamic in the future. When you step away from this person, they may undergo a significant realization or wake-up call, especially if you've already distanced yourself. The presence of the sacral chakra card in its upright position indicates a powerful shift in their feelings towards you. This card suggests that they are experiencing an intense attraction to you on multiple levels, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. This renewed sense of attraction might be linked to the process of breaking down barriers related to love and self-worth. By overcoming these barriers, they start to resonate with a higher frequency of unconditional love. As you align yourself with this higher vibration, you're not just improving your own energy, but also magnetizing yourself to attract love in various forms and from different directions. This could mean drawing in potential romantic partners, soulmates, or even twin flames who resonate with your desires and values. Essentially, by focusing on your own growth and self-love, you become a magnet for positive relationships and connections. The adjacent possibilities card, which appeared reversed along with the number 2020, suggests that this year might have been particularly significant in both a global context and in your personal situation with this person. For some, terms like France, MOVE, and Washington might be relevant. These terms could hint at relocations or significant changes related to this connection, such as someone moving to be closer to the other, or traveling to visit. The reversed adjacent possibilities card indicates that as you continue to distance yourself and prioritize your own needs, this person might come to realize that you are their only true option. This realization often occurs when they are faced with the absence of something they once took for granted. However, because the relationship had become stuck and unbalanced, it's crucial for you to fully commit to choosing yourself. This means setting clear boundaries and prioritizing your own well-being over the relationship. By taking this step, you create the necessary space for both you and this person to heal and grow. This distance allows for reflection and self-improvement on both sides. The boundaries you set and the focus you place on your own growth are essential for creating a healing environment. This space not only helps you move forward, but also provides the other person with the opportunity to confront their own issues and make meaningful changes. In summary, by choosing yourself and setting boundaries, you facilitate a process of healing and personal growth, which can ultimately lead to a more balanced and healthy dynamic, whether that involves reconnecting with this person or moving on to new opportunities. As you move forward and potentially distance yourself from this person, they may experience a profound wake-up call, particularly if you've already decided to walk away. The appearance of the sacral chakra card upright suggests that this person is undergoing a significant shift in how they feel about you. This card signifies a powerful renewal of attraction on multiple levels, emotional, physical, and intimate. This can lead to them sending out strong, focused energy towards you, 
which might manifest in their thoughts and dreams about you, especially in romantic or intimate contexts. You might notice that you're thinking about them more frequently, particularly during moments of quiet or solitude, such as late at night. This increased mental connection could even extend into your dreams, where you might find yourself dreaming about them. This is because their intense focus and attraction towards you are likely sending energetic signals that are influencing your own thoughts and dreams. This can create a confusing situation where it feels like you're being drawn back into their energy despite having taken steps to move away. Additionally, I've seen the number 2255, which carries a significant message. This number symbolizes that your heartfelt wishes and intentions have been communicated to the universe. It's a powerful sign that positive changes are on the horizon for you. The appearance of this number serves as a beacon of hope, urging you to have faith in yourself and trust in the divine timing of your life. It suggests that major beneficial transformations are coming your way, even if the process of change feels intimidating. For those who resonate with this message, the number 2255 is a reassurance that everything is aligning for your highest good. It encourages you to stay optimistic and embrace the upcoming changes with confidence. As you navigate these shifts, remember that they are guiding you towards a more positive and fulfilling future. We've drawn the Angel of Strength card, which holds a deep and powerful message for you right now. This card indicates that you are in a period where you are gaining significant inner strength and resilience. This is not a time for passivity or allowing circumstances to dictate your actions. Instead, it's crucial for you to actively embrace your personal power and take charge of your life. The message from your spiritual guides is clear. Do not relinquish your power to anyone or anything, even if it involves a relationship that feels especially significant or sacred. In many profound connections, the intensity can sometimes bring up unresolved wounds or vulnerabilities, which can obscure your ability to fully access your inner strength. The Angel of Strength card is urging you to address these issues head-on and to reclaim your power. This might involve setting firm boundaries, voicing your needs and truths, and taking decisive actions that are in alignment with your own well-being. Right now, you are infused with a deep well of inner strength and boundless resourcefulness that will support you in achieving tangible results in your life. The essential message from your guides is to understand that if this reading resonates with you, the person you are thinking about is going through a significant realization or wake-up call. They are experiencing a renewed and intense attraction towards you across all levels, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. The thought of you moving on or pulling away is causing them considerable distress. Despite this, your guides are advising you not to focus on their reaction or let their feelings dictate your actions. Instead, it's important for you to maintain focus on your own growth and empowerment. Your guides want you to trust that anything meant for you will eventually find its way back into your life as you continue to evolve and align with your highest self. While it's possible that this person may eventually mirror your growth and feel inspired to make changes, it is crucial that their motivation for change comes from within them and not from any external pressure or influence you might exert. The process of their self-realization and transformation must be self-motivated. Ultimately, the card and your guides are emphasizing that by prioritizing yourself and your own healing, you are creating a necessary space for both you and this person to grow. This space allows for reflection, self-improvement, and the potential for reconnection if it aligns with both of your highest good. If you find this message resonates with you, please consider leaving a comment to share your thoughts and experiences. I hope this reading provides the insight and encouragement you need. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to connecting with you again in the next reading.